Hi everyone, you're watching Hot Shots TV. I'm Scott Briard, and this is Darts. And let's get right to today's episode. episode uh, Dart episode. boards. Whether you're buying for your pub, Legion, or League, or you're purchasing for home use, which majority of you watching probably have a board at home if you're interested in darts to this level. Now, I didn't want to begin dart review, dart board reviews with uh, some of the basics from the Winmap Pro SFB, the Nodor uh, Super Bowl, um, and into the low end um, Unicorn Striker Radius series. Uh, and again, we can go into Puma and Sportcraft and, and all that other stuff. Puma does make a great board, by the way. But a lot of stuff that I'm not even going to bring up right now is Chinese made, comes free possibly in cabinets and such, are not going to last you a long time. Um, Yes, the Striker, the Radius, the Windmill Pro SFB, and the Super Bowl are great boards. But let's touch on the three majors. I don't believe there's a higher quality board manufactured than these three. Uh, one, I'm going to point out some flaws to and let you know about what, what exists on the one board. Um, but let's start off with the Nodor. And we're going to talk about the Super Match. Nodor, I believe, is one of the oldest dartboard manufacturing companies in the world. Uh, Bracla, I believe, is the parent company. Um, and I'll get into the other company they own in some moment. As you can see here, Nodor um, is actually still written on the top. Nodor actually refers to no odor. It was the first dartboard manufactured that didn't have a horrible smell to it, if you can believe it. And the name stuck, so Nodor is still one of the world's leading dartboard manufacturers. Uh, Brackleg again, the parent company, also they make the Windmill series. So the material in both the Supa match and the Blade threes are identical. Wiring systems are identical embedded inside the sisal. Um, so in the beginning, wires were usually stapled onto the boards, and when we do a show reviewing the Pro SFBs, Super Bowl, and different ones, uh, we'll show you how the, the wires are held in by staples. But the preferred boards for home use, certainly those at home are willing to upgrade from a $60 board to $80, $90, $95, because they know they're going to have it for years to come. Bars and Legions have a different philosophy because they know players will destroy the boards within a few months. They may need to change boards every six months to a year. So, Nodor, uh, the super match here, wires are actually embedded inside the sisal. Um, so the bulls are in, no staples holding it in, and as well as to the outside. The benefit and the bonus to this, less bounce outs. Back in the 80s, before this technology was around, um, although I believe the Puma Bandit was the first board to ever have staple-free systems to it, um, there were staples always in the wooden doors and windmills. Bounces occurred. One of the reasons why retractable darts were, were really encouraged and, and created back in the early 80s is because boards had so many wires and it was so easy to bounce a dart out of them. So as we see here with the Nodor, nice clean board. Um, one of the downfalls um, compared to the windmill uh, Blade 3 um, that I believe, they've left a silver ring, the number ring in silver on the board. Now if you have one or more lights focusing down on the dartboard, you can get a reflection off this wire while you're staring at the board. It can be somewhat, somewhat, you know, um, annoying, I guess, at times if you are focusing on the board and you've got a sort of a light bouncing off the silver wire. Uh, so that brings us to the Windmill Blade 3, made by the same manufacturer. Materials coming from the same country in Africa. The pucks, I believe, and everything else is assembled there and then distributed through England. Um, so the address has on the back of the dartboard. Um, but the windmill, still sponsoring the British Darts Organization. Benefit of Nodor, yes, they're low on boards, and when we do uh, a show on it, uh, the Super Bowl, um, percentage of the revenue actually goes towards the American Dart Association. The board is sold in the United States. And a percentage of the revenue goes towards the National Darts Federation of Canada if the board is sold in Canada. Um, so great benefit to Nodor in that sense. But the board I, I prefer anyway is the Blade 3. Many of you that have shopped at my store, this is usually the first board I pick up when you're looking for something to have for years to come. Uh, looking for a dartboard that does not have staples to it um, to reduce the bounce outs. Blade 3 is sort of my, uh, my favorite and I know a lot of others feel that way as well. I was informed, I had a meeting last week with the Nodar Windmill distributors for Canada who informed me that although the Windmill, uh, the Blade 3 is a preferred board around southern Ontario, it's actually the Nodor, uh, the super match that gets sold uh, right across Canada, uh, maybe because of patriotism, and they know that uh, that Nodor does uh, does fuel some funds into uh, into the National Darts Foundation of Canada through their Canadian wholesaler. Um, but again, my preferred board, the Windmill Blade Three. So no staples at all to the wiring system. Everything's embed embedded inside the sisal. Um, great logos and designs to it. It's a crisp looking board. And again, the wiring system, as I mentioned, is painted white. 
um, so you do not get any reflection off it whatsoever. Um, we, uh, 10 years now, retail business, we've never had a no door or windmill return to us um, in the sense of there's never been any manufacturing errors, anything that needed to be corrected onto the dartboard. Where, and I'll bring up the third board that sort of falls into this category, is the most widely uh, seen board um, on television because of Unicorn's sponsorship of the PDC and how involved Unicorn was um, when the PDC first began. Uh, very popular board because it is on television so much. Um, all the pros are playing on it and all the major events because it is um, uh, a sponsor of the PDC, Unicorn that is. Um, again, same white number system to the outside wires are embedded in the inside the actual board material. Um, but I must say, and this is in all honesty, 1 in 20 Unicorn, uh, especially the Eclipse Pro, are returned here to us uh, for manufacturing errors. The Unicorn Eclipse Pro is manufactured in China. Now, not getting into um, Chinese manufacturing, some products certainly coming out of their quality these days, um, but I still think some errors are made regarding their dartboards. Um, although I'm certain Unicorn, a great company with a lot of great products, um, are watching over uh, quality control. There are a few that still slip through the cracks. Uh, as you can see, this board here was returned to us uh, potentially a month or two after it was purchased by a consumer. Not here, actually, at another store. I took it in return because we are such, uh, such dedicated dart retailers. Um, even if you bought a board somewhere else at the Unicorn Eclipse Pro, return it here. Um, I will give you another one if it's within reason. If it's a manufacturing defect, I will make sure these get back to the Canadian wholesaler who in turn will inform Unicorn about any errors. So what happened here, the bullseye, if you can see it, and maybe I will photograph it and zoom into it when we do some editing on this, the bullseye is actually off-center. Um, and we've seen it where actually the silk screening of the colors on the board are off-center and just varying past all the wires. Um, this bullseye separated as well on the consumer. Um, there's no dart holes there, so it wasn't from anything to do with his, uh, his play. Um, it actually just separated in the board. Um, and as you can see from the holes to it, it might have been a board that was used in a home for a month to two months. Um, certainly not any damage due to the, uh, the play on the board, but actually the board manufacturing itself. Not the discount Unicorn, great product, sponsoring all the world champions. Um, um, certainly behind darts, uh, very, very involved, especially in the PDC where all your major players are playing. Um, but my concerns I do have with some of their dartboards, and again, because I'm a retailer, we do have some of them returned here. We sell as many as we do, and we continue to sell them. It's not something we've taken off our, our list of products available because everyone viewing darts on television are seeing the Eclipse Pro. Um, so hopefully Unicorn can take a look at that, make sure they get more quality control on their boards. I'll zoom into this so you can sort of see how the bullseye is a bit off-center and how the wiring actually came apart. Not to discredit Unicorn, great company, great products. Anyway, uh, fun thing we're going to do this week for all of you. We will ship to you my favorite board, a windmill, uh, Blade 3 to you. Send us a picture. Um, get it here by next Wednesday, which will be October 21st. Uh, by midnight of next Wednesday, October 21st. I want a picture of your dartboard um, and the most worn out dartboard. And this is your board at home. I don't want you going down to the local pub and uh, taking a picture of the very beaten up uh, board at the, at the local pub. But take a picture of your home board the most abused dartboard and, and don't take an axe to it any of you don't take an axe to it but from standard play of, of a set of darts um, the most the most abused dartboard the one that really needs to be replaced send me a picture through email or you can mail them I don't know if it'll arrive fast enough but you've got Hotshots address certainly at hotshotscanada.com mail us either a photograph uh, from your camera if that's necessary but we would prefer send it by email to scott at hotshotscanada.com um, I'll be the judge, take a look at them all, maybe I'll show some on, on next Wednesday's episode. And the most, uh, well, if your entries are due next Wednesday, I guess I'll be showing it on next Friday's episode. The most beaten up dartboard, we're going to ship you for free a Windmill uh, Blade 3. Anyway, hope that can create some fun. Get out there, take some pictures, send me an email, tell me what board you use. What's your board of choice at home? We certainly want to know here. Anyway, everyone, as always, comments, questions, post below, send me an email. Thanks for watching.